All right. This one I had to download. Mission Improbable. Rogue Agent. Rogue like. I am making a 70 year old geometry. We'll add screenshots. This is a spy game roll like. Now, first off, I want my roll like instead of just bombing into enemies for an attack. I made the game have many menu options to spice up gameplay. The game is based on a nuclear threat where 10 enemies are hidden in cities across the world. I was short of time or I would have had good maps of real places. You have spy tools to locate them. Then, you must assassinate them in order to avoid a new detonation. On your way, you can find spies with secrets. You can rob or bribe or seduce or kill, or even trick them out of the secrets. You can then sell them on the black market. You can also get money the same way from non-spy characters too. Use money to visit hospitals, replenish hit points, and bank money. You will need it to pay off government agents. Government agents are always hunting you. You will always have to use tracking systems to home in on persons of interest and targets. If agents capture you, you will have to have something they want or take a beating to, to your hit points. You can get forged passports or, tra um, uh, or our travel in a variety of ways between cities. You will find weapons such as guns and bombs to use in assassinations. Every character in the game has an opinion of you. If they have a low opinion, it will be hard to bribe or seduce them. There's a detailed stats page to see all your progress. This is an Iron Man game, but will not even but, but but not even one save. You play in one sitting, no loads. All menus are exited by right clicking. Movement is cursor keys. It will run on any Windows PC with a monitor capable of 1360 by 768. Scope. I ripped stuff from other projects I was making. The code I knew all worked like menu system, and the art was done. I wrote the relic movement, etc., and file menus with options. I would have liked Google Maps or Cities, but they are copyright. This is a game made by um, Hifafi, and honestly, the English language is not a strong point, but you know, that's fine. You don't have to have, to have English as your first language, or second, or even third, to make a real like. Now, what's really cute about this game, by the way, is that it has a readme. An actual readme. And nothing in here. So, let's just click on the readme here. For the 70 year old 2023, I put in procedural elements that generates and gives every citizen an opinion of you, and everybody else that can change for different reasons. This affects you by making bribes or selection easier if they have a good opinion of you, but hard if they don't. I am making every offensive action on a character reduce their opinion of you, and every good action is successful improve their opinion of you. E.g. robbing them will cause them bad feelings towards you, rarely placing place enemies and random city maps, and every character in the game gets an original name generated. Procedural targets shown in mini-maps as you move they can too. I hope the guys at Ix like it. I tried to do something different, a many different relic, with grip-based, turn-based movement, etc. Random attributes, money, scripts, secrets, etc. Abilities, hit points, backstory, they all have names and opinion of you, and all I receive NPCs. So, this is a spy game, roll like. First off, I'm a poor dev, and if I'm paid for all the graphics for all my games, I would be a very poor dev, as I make many games. So, I apologize for the poor quality of the artwork I drew in MS Paint, etc. Alright, so this basically is a rear, it's like, you know, what he said, he's like, like, you know, everything here, I think. So, blah, blah. Alright, so. That only took me all around like four minutes basically to say. Let's actually jump into the actual game. Alright, does this expand any further than this? Be nice if it did. Now, I did open this up before and I think it did have like a you know an option to your window or like you know not window this. So it might be that it saves it the first time and like it doesn't like change it after. So that's a thing. Alright, so Mission Improbable Rogue Agent version 1.08 by Mark Ainsworth, reference 1486-7. Move about a city full of characters, some with money, some with secrets. Take their secrets and money any way you can. Through combat, bribes, seduction, trickery, use poison bombs, knives, guns. Hunt down persons of interest. All characters form an opinion of you. If they don't like you, they are harder to bribe or seduce. Weapons have a better chance of damage depending on class, 
Poison bobs are used after one use. Buy more fruit city. Guns use ammo, they all have an ammo ma um, box of magazines and they run, run out. Press escape or right click to return to exit main menu. It's kind of a turn based strategy role like. Watch out for agents. You use your spy craft and you can heal at hospitals. You can sell secrets on the black market. You can steal your um, from characters, but they may also steal from you. You can check from stat your stats and kills, avoid government agents as they will take all your secrets. Your objective should be should you choose to take it, is to acquire all secrets in all cities, and sell to the highest bidder. You have to assassinate the 10 targets to, to stop a nuke. You have a license to do whatever you need to. The specialist will dissolve in 5 minutes. Alright, press enter or left click to start. Oh, here we go, you can basically adjust it here. You may want to adjust um, the settings for the game or leave everything on default. So this is like the default settings. Um, so basically you have 300 HP as a default, we have 609, 609 money. Current save for population density is 26. Click start to adjust personal interest, uh, interest high in the general population. So low density is easier than high. high. To use tracking system to find personal interest, they then use the map to home in. This is a spy game, not an arcade game. It's not meant to, um, to be easy to follow targets. So I could like drop this down a little bit. Yeah, let's just drop this down maybe to like you know 10. Just to make it a little easier to find the targets so we can see what they're all about. So I can play it at full screen a lot, which basically full screens this hopefully. Very nice. And start. Alright, so you are at Beak City. Characters at location City X 2022, uh, City Y 32. So click for offensive menu, click for map and movement, uh, click for tracking view, click for spycraft menu, hospital, black market, travel, assassination, bank and passport, and stats menu. Your spy name is Val Filbert. Hit points 300, money 690, bank 0, secret 0, you have no passport. Press space to exit mission, there is no saves in this uh, spy game. So right click to exit menus or press escape. Alright, so. So we have like the offensive menu here. So click to strike with hands, a kick with feet, verbally an insult, attack with an equipped weapon to run and avoid conflict, try and trick target. You're equipped with poison. All offensive attacks affect everyone in the area, for example bombs. This gives you a bonus when attacking multiple targets, so all good to have. Here's map and movement. Um, your cursor keys to move in a 50 by 50 city grid. You'll see the names on, um, of the characters. So, government agent is basically this guy right here. Uh, my location is right here. Location with um, civilian population. Per person of interest is white. When you move, all ca characters may choose to move. The character will only move one grid location. So there's also a civilian in this area and there's a government agent that I want to avoid. When you move, all characters may move. Blah blah. I don't care about that. Find a person of interest. Try bribing or use offensive um, offensive to take your secrets. Use offensive to get money from non-important characters. Everything you do allows this, uh, allows the living city residents to move or, um, or interact with other residents. Each character has an opinion of everybody else, including you. A low opinion means they may not take a bribe or may be seduced. If a resident's hit points hit zero, then they die, and you will get money and secrets. If a government agent catches you, they will take all your secrets and, or money or beat you. So, watch out for that. Alright, press escape to return to main menu. So you got, like, you know, tracking, which is basically, like, you know, track stuff around you. So, find a person of interest. Try bribing or use offensive to take your secrets. If they have an opinion of um, above 49, get a better chance to drive or seduce. You can also use spycraft on residents with no secrets to gain or money, etc. If everyone asks you catch you, blah blah, so we're know about this. So I want to get to this guy over here. Here's a spycraft menu, so click for cheap bribe, expensive bribe, seductions, steal secrets, or steal money. Select target from the list if uh, more than one in this location. All spycraft options will only affect, affect the selected target. If there's no one at this location, then there will be no target to select. You will have to choose uh, multiple people at one location, so that's why you choose target. There's the hospital, so you can see heal up there. There's the black market where you can sell secrets. The travel menu. Alright, so choose method of transport. 
Cheaper means government may detect you more easily. So, click to hitch a ride, 10 money. Ride a motorcycle, free money. Boat, 50 money. Drive, 70. Take the train, 85. Fly first class, 100. Um, you know, I find it odd that it says, like, you know, cheaper means it's, like, you know, more easy to detect you. How is hitching a ride supposed to be easy to detect? I mean, it should be easier to detect you if you spend a lot more money, like a boat or, like, an airplane. Not like, you know, picture arrive like Joe to, like, you know, the supermarket, so to speak. So, that makes a little bit no sense to me, but whatever. Alright, so. <clears throat> so, we have, like, black market, travel, assassination, bank and post office. So, basically, you can uh, deposit or withdraw stuff from, from the bank. So, buy a good passport or, like, you know, a poor passport. You don't have a passport, you can try, try to travel, but chances are you'll be arrested. The cheaper you do things, the easier agents will be able to track you. Here's my stats. Your spy name, Val Filbert. Hit points 300, money 690, secret 0. Total attack rounds, 0. Total fist attacks, this is like a, a breakdown of like everything I've basically done, I guess. So, we won't worry about this right now. There's the assassination, so, big city, target to assassinate, pearl bacon. Hit points 31, money 246, secrets 37, last spot at X2, Y46. Okay, so he's at, um, X2 would mean he's basically in the, um, the west, 46 would mean he's basically somewhere, somewhere in that axis, depending on how, like, you know, wide of axis this he is. It looks like both of these axes are, like, you know, pretty low, so 50 is probably close to, like, the, you know, very high to, like, the south, uh, the west, north. Oh, he's over here, southwest. So why is Pissy down here? Okay, that's fine. Assassinations are only reported after you leave the city. Locations of targets good on city entry, but once the city uh, locations are updated, live you may find a target at each city and assassinate them. A nuclear war needs to be avoided at all costs. All we know are the names of the ring or as in a plot to detonate a nuke. All right, so um, tracking. So there's government agents basically all over the place here, and I think he's probably the person agents have to go after. So let's try going down here. So down, 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 down. Pearl Wakefield, is that the guy I'm going after? Pearl Bacon. Lucky you, I almost killed you. So right now this guy's currently at 0, 4, 2, he's on the, the you know, far side of the map. Alright, let's see here. So, weapon-wise, I only have access to, like, you know, poison. And currently I'm at, like, you know, Tire Pearl Wakefield right here. So, I could try, like, you know, um, bribe this guy to do some. Let's just try to uh, seduce this guy, maybe. Spend 50 million on seduction, but Target did not give you their secrets. Opinion of you went up by free. So, seducing is probably how you, get, how you get secrets, by the way, but you know. Alright, well, let's just get it going here. I found a knife! Okay, let's equip the knife. So if I go to my like offensive menu, we now have a knife equipped. All right, and let's just go move here a little bit more. I already got a knife. I found poison, so we could equip this. All right, let's just go find this guy. All right, here's Pearl Blaken. So, uh, offensive menu. 
So right now this guy's got 31 XP, he's got like your money, he's got secrets. Um, we want to kill this guy, but you know, I'm also going to like, you know, try to like, you know, um, maybe get his stuff as well. So, let's steal his secrets. You try to steal secrets from the target, but the target got yours and add to their secrets. Alright, well, that's annoying. Let's try again. Just money. Alright, well, it isn't working very well. Let's just kill him. So, um... Attack with equipped weapon. You strike with equipped weapon poison. And do, do damage to all targets. Um, but take 4 damage. So... We're trying to kill him at this point, so let's just get it done. We're trying to kill him, right? So... Oh, I don't have a quick weapon now, because poison is one shot. Alright, well, let's just strike with hands. Kick with feet. So, strike of hand, do damage to all targets, but take one damage. Is there any point to attack of hands? It doesn't seem like I do a lot of hand damage. Oh, did I kill him already? So, current target eliminated. I took out, like, you know, Pearl Bacon already, so... Alright, well, we're done with that. Let's get that poison. And, let's see here. Currently, I have someone else with, like, some money here. I seem to have no ability to like steal from these guys, so I don't know if that's just like really difficult to sort of steal from them or like what the you know, it's basically all about. But whatever. All right, well we basically did what we need to. Um, we need to go to the bank now, and we need to buy like a good passport. We need to travel, so we're gonna go to one of your places now. Uh, Drone City, Abbott City, Golden Gray, Baker, Wilder, Smith. Let's go to Drone City. So, we'll travel the drone. I'm going to drive to Drone City. So, assassinations are not confirmed until you've left city. But you can check assassination list to see any current targets in the city. So... Let's go here. So, name of assassinated target, Pearl Bacon. So, he's been assassinated. I wonder if I could get their money when I kill him, because that would make sense, but, you know, whatever. Uh, we found a pistol, I'll take that. Here's Cass Hastings. He doesn't have any secrets really, but you know, let's just try seducing him again. Spent 50 on seduction and it targets you um, their secrets. Opinion went up by 8. Well, we finally had some secrets given to us, but he just got to have any secrets to give, so. Yeah. Got uh, a pistol, sure. So he's up here, by the way, so... 
Oh, this is something of interest. Effie Davies. So this guy's got some secrets, he's got some money, he's got a high opinion on me. Let's go with, um, Seduce. He's got a high opinion on me, so let's try again. Oh, give me my secrets! Alright, so I have some secrets to sell. So seven secrets for $77. We're going to 70 secrets sell. Boop! There we go, there's a little bit of money. I found a rifle. That might be useful. So, government agents are supposed to be tracking me, but they don't see me like moving after me that quick. That might be him over there, by the way. Here's a bomb. Let's avoid a bomb. It's a knife. Poison. Alright, here's Andy Briscal. And we're in Drone City, so... Andy Briscal in Drone City. Let's take him on. So this guy's got a high opinion on me. Let's try seducing him to get his secrets. Actually, you know what? Currently have free five secrets and we've got 829 money. Let's see if Eerie's go up when we kill this guy. So we'll attack with the equipped weapon. So he does six damage. He's now at 16 HP. He's now at eight. Oh, you're trying to save him at zero, so we killed him. I think my secrets in my mind is gone, so if you kill a target, you have to take it, take it that way. So, alright, that works. Uh, I currently have my good password, so it's fine. I'm gonna have to travel in a moment, let's see where we're going first. So, so Abbott is basically dead. Or, you know, Andy's dead. Let's go to Tom, I guess, next in Abbott. So travel, or drive to Abbott. Tracking. So I see a lot of government agents in this map. He's down a corner. I'm down a corner. Awesome. We should be able to find real fast, right there. Uh, here's Tom Hanforth. He's the guy I'm trying to kill, right? Yep, so this is knock him off. Oh, here's something to watch out for. If I basically have multiple people to kill, it's probably not a good thing to kill off you know, civilians, but... Well, I have to do what's necessary, don't I? So I'll take some, take some damage. Fourteen, eighteen, four and zero. Oh, look at that! I managed to kill off the guy without killing her. That's nice. So we assassinate our target here. Hopefully, she doesn't bleed out. Alright, so, we're going to leave now. Now, I assume this would be a lot harder if you basically had, like, more density of, like, people to go through, but, you know, that's fine. I'm basically showing off, like, you know, the basics of what this game is basically all about. Uh, we're going to go to Golden City for Matt Hayden. So, let's travel first class to, um, Abbott, right? Or Golden. There we go. Alright, my money's going down, but we have some secrets to sell, so let's sell off some secrets. We're going to use the map and movement. And we're just going to close this guy. Oh, there's a couple guys around me as our person's interest. 
Dear Sandy. Uh, let's check who's like Target Pissy is, by the way. So, we're going after Matt Hayden here. So, Sandy's not the person I'm trying to kill. And they just have money, so whatever. I think that's my target right there, by the way, next to the uh, government um, officer over here. There's a couple guys here. Rebecca Moffitt. So, you've got some secrets. Let's try seducing you, maybe. I see this seducing section works pretty damn well. So, hooray for that. We got our secrets from her. Here is Diana Holmes. She's got some secrets for me. Got a fairly good opinion on me. Yeah, it seems like, you know, seduction is a little bit too powerful, but whatever. There we go. I'm not sure that's basically worth doing, but you know. It is worth doing. Uh, target's right there. Uh, I'm sure we'll equip the rifle. Here is Val Robbins. So he's got money, he's got, like, you know, secrets. He's got a fairly low opinion on me, so... Well, let's try and, like, steal this guy's uh, money, maybe. I got some of their money. So, you won't actually take all their money, you just take some of it. Well, that's annoying. Um... I just feel like killing him just for a hell of it, because why not? Let's uh, attack with the equipped weapon. And we'll attack with the equipped weapon. And again. That's an easy way of getting it. I assume killing people is probably like a bad way of like, you know, um... You know. If you kill off people, they're probably you're gonna get like you know noticed by the government off, uh, officials by a lot, but you know whatever. You know I find the government um, officials are like not like all that like you know active as they should be. Oh, assassination. That might be him right there. There's a knife. Matt, is that you? Yep, that's you. Alright, so this guy's got, you know, 27 XP. I just see what try trick to Tarpus he does, but you know, we'll kill this guy first, so. Attack, He'll, he lost 1 HP, he lost a lot, he's dead. Alright, well, we're going to head off, so... Target eliminated, we're going to go to Grey City next to find Red Heath. Let's fly first class to Red Heath in Gray City. Alright, I feel I should probably give like some feedback to the developer here. So I'll note that something I'm basically like finding like you know, sort of lacking is like the government agents like you know not really chasing you. But another thing I'm basically sort of finding lack is the fact like you know um, I'm basically like picking up all this like you know secrets and like money from like killing people. I kind of feel that like you know um, 
you should basically like you know you shouldn't really be awarded basically like you know their secrets if you like you kill them like not necessarily all the secrets and all the money maybe it should be like you know you just take like a, a small portion of their life if, if you kill them so it's basically like you know intense you to actually take a like you know act as spycraft um, as opposed to like you know what i'm doing right now all right you're basically over there I mean, it looks like they are sort of closing in on me a little bit, but, you know, not a whole lot. He's down over there. All right, we found him already. So, <clears throat> let's kill him. Three, like, attacks, but it's fine to kick him on. So, attack. Got like, a lot of XP, apparently. Attack. All right, we're going to get into a little bit of a fist fight here. So, boom. All right, he's down. Target eliminated. Is there nine cities or ten cities? That might have been a typo, maybe, or something like that, but whatever. All right, well, that's done. So let's just sell off some secrets here, because I feel like it. And let's just travel. Uh, the baker. They get Margaret Carwell. All right, we're just gonna go after the first person here to see, like, you know, what the um, trick basically does, maybe. So here's George Talbert. Actually, he's probably have a weapon for us at tricking people. Uh, he's got a little opinion on me, so let's try to steal his secrets. His secrets go up, mine go down. I guess unless you really need to, you should really try to steal these guys' secrets, but whatever. Let's try to trick the target. You try to trick the target, your, your opinion changed by two. So... Your opinion changed by one. Chick change target's opinion of you by two. I have no idea what tricking people basically does, by the way. But whatever, let's just like, you know, kick this guy to death or something. All right, we killed this guy. Notice that my HP is looking a little bit low at this point. I really should heal up, I guess. So let's go to the hospital. There we go. My HP is ni nice and high. Yeah, that's kind of stupid. You basically have, you have like a, you know, no max HP basically, but whatever. There we go. You know, it sounds like, you know, something I feel like would, would be a lot better is there's, like, ability to sort of buy weapons, maybe, or stuff like that. Because right now, it's like, no, like, you know, you just basically find weapons, is like, how this basically this game works, right? So. We'll take a pistol. Ah, uh, let's see here. So he's serving the middle of the map over there. 
That's probably him right there. Or her. Yep, that's her right there. Let's kill her off. Oh, she's done already. Alright, let's travel first class to Wild City. Oh, government building. You will be returned to city after agents have finished with you. You can give all your secrets or money, or take a bad beating to your HP. Better than maybe throw in prison. If your mo money is less than 50 or secrets is less than 50, you must take a beating. Forced passwords are, are confiscated. So, I can basically give out my money or give out my secrets. Um, I think my money is probably like not as important, so let's give out my money. For now, because I basically saw this stuff here. Yeah, that's just gonna help me enough. So I did get caught there, but you know, that's just like, you know, part of like the logic. Sometimes, like, they'll catch you. Alright, over there in the middle of the map. I'll note that running around here is like, you know, surface meh. Uh, I'll take the rifle, sure. There's been a lot of, like, you know, better sort of, like, you know, map layouts, I guess, for, like, you know, this type of game. Uh. Rex Wright, is that who I'm going after? Yep. Let's try, try and take him on. Okay, that's done. I have no passport, so we need a new passport. But I can also bank my money if I want to, so... So they can't take it all. I have a good passport. Let's go to Smith. Right up there. So... Map and movement. Apparently I found a rifle. We'll equip that. Uh, I'm already up in here, so... Where's the person I'm interested in going after? There's someone up here. Have I killed off this person already? It's a city. No, there's a Rupert Andrews somewhere I have to take on. So it looks like this time I have to, I have to, I have to like, you know, manually find him, so we shall, like, you know, be fun, but that's fine. He's at X35Y42. So obviously it's not, you know, Properly being translated here, but that's fine. Um, Why I means down here a little bit, so probably in this area. I think it's probably like one of these guys right here. So there's Gerald Robbins. You know, I sort of feel if you basically find the weapons, it should just pop up as a window or something like that. Honestly, I get really annoying real fast, but you know. It's kind of easier to sort of like see it that way. Let's equip. There's Rupert Andrews. That's who I'm after. Okay, we're done. Are we done? Let's 
So, I've knocked out all of these guys, right? So who am I going after now? Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's only eight cities. Alright, well, um, I guess this game isn't really, like, you know, finished because there's no, like, win condition, I guess, for this game. So, once you take out all the Asians, that's basically it. Um, not much else you need to do. Alright, well, it was an interesting game. I'll, I'll say that at least. I sort of feel like it would have been better to actually have like a more like a grid based thing as opposed to like, you know, just like a, you know, a big uh, map where you basically like, you know, walk through and like you look around on. But, um, it worked fine for what it basically was. It's basically like, you know, different from the norm. That's fine. So, yes, we're done because I don't feel like, you know, wasting more time on this. Alright then, take care all.